Deal? Don't tell me you've never heard of me. Now, now, what seems to be the trouble? Master Crystal. These agitators came around and started giving us lip. And the boys came out of nowhere and insulted me. It was like a ghost or something. My dear boy. You all right? Uh, yes, of course. is great! I've never tasted anything like it! Here, here, try this syrup! Holy hell, you sure know how to put out a good spread! What's mood got to do with it? If something's stupid, I say so. If something's delicious, I say so. It has nothing to do with mood. So, you're enjoying it then? It's a special dish from the Southwest, made mostly from hot pots. If you like, I can fix you some to take with you, as a gift. But that raises a question. You're tasting it through that body, yes? Does that mean you share all senses? Screw that! If it's good, it's good. But anyway, if you've got something you want to say, just say it. Stop trying to kiss our ass. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just so interested in you two. Very well, to the topic at hand. I manage all the trade throughout this region. But my position entails many problems, of course. Often simple power of position isn't enough in our desolate world. I suppose I should just be frank. I'd like to borrow your power. That grand, wonderful, mysterious source of influence you have. What about your prized warriors? <laughs> right to the point, I see. True, I am able to field a sizable army, but some problems can't be solved with brute force, like you, for example. Now, I don't care what your own plans are, but I know you'll need money, and I pay very handsomely for valuable services. So, how about it? Why not cut out the middleman? We could just take everything you have by force. You said yourself you can't stop us. Yes, well, that would pose a problem, wouldn't it? So, soulmate, what are you gonna do? <sighs> Why you gotta be so nice to people? Hey, this guy's obviously not on the up and up. I don't care either way. But are you really gonna let him treat you like a sucker? Thank you for your consideration. Let me explain myself more fully. Brother, I need to speak with you a moment. <laughs> what is it? <clears throat> You've caught me in the middle of a meal with some rather important guests. There's a dispute taking place outside. We've come upon a suspicious Sep girl. We've taken some minor injuries. She's surprisingly powerful. Ha! I wonder if it's who I think it is. Ah, an acquaintance of yours? Well, let's bring her in and make sure. Cuthbert, please bring her to us. And treat her kindly. She may be friends with our honored guests here. Very well. Here she is, brother. Hey! Hey, you! You tricked me, you jerk! There wasn't any stinking crimson tear under that tree. I dug like a million holes out there. I hate liars so much. So, you know each other, then? I won't forgive you for leaving me behind like that! Hey, you in there! Are you even listening to me? My name isn't Hey You In There, it's Gig! G-I-G Gig! Why can't you get that through your thick bovine skull? Ugh, you're really pissing me off! I'm gonna rip that smart-ass mouth right off your face! 
Don't you remember who this body actually belongs to? Your stupidity really knows no limit. I think your mother dropped you on your head one too many times. Ugh! You! People are just too funny. <laughs> the hell is wrong with that guy? <laughs> You'll have to excuse him. He, uh, really loves to laugh. Miss, you look exhausted. We have some food prepared if you're hungry. They say you should never fight on an empty stomach. In fact, you should all get some rest. We can talk more about your task tomorrow. I must excuse myself for now, but please, take your time and enjoy the meal. Were you a good little child? You didn't get bored, did you? For being so good, I'll sing you a lullaby. Now, shall I take you to the emerald-colored forest? Hey, what was that? Were you dreaming? Was that when you were a kid? Was that what you call a mother? Ah, well, not like it matters. You saw my dream, I saw yours. Now we're even. Okay, back to business. Are you familiar with the Nerids? They're a species of all female creatures, as their name suggests. They live beneath large bodies of water. Their stronghold lies in the waters to the southeast of Ray. They're not usually a hostile group, but recently they've taken to harassing the area around the city. We're quite troubled by the ruckus these water women have been raising. As recently as yesterday, a group of knights were attacked behind our own castle walls. Oh, wow! Really? Hmm? You have something to say? The enemy was quite vicious, I hear. The Nerids apparently hired them. Their leader was a giant barbarian, covered in terrifying tattoos. Ha! <laughs> Will you listen to this guy? Regular soldiers simply aren't cut out for this. I'd like you to teach these creatures a lesson. So basically, you want us to genocide them all, down to the last flipper? <laughs> Not quite. I would never suggest such an unsettling idea. I just want them to understand that if you cause trouble in Raid, you'll be the ones to suffer. <laughs> That's too easy. Hell, I'll be there and back before you can cook up our victory dinner. You're certainly not lacking in confidence. I look forward to your successful return. Shh! Shh! 
Shut up, kid. If they find out it was us, that's just gonna cause more grief. Hmm? Is it possible that you? No, no, that couldn't be. You don't have any tattoos, and you're certainly not a giant. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm going to lend you some of my personal security detail. Feel free to use them however you see fit. So, how about it? Now you're talking, kid. We're more than man enough for this. You trying to mock us or something with your pathetic rabble of worms? Well, no. Actually, I wanted them to go and watch you in action. It would be a marvelous learning experience for them. Glad to hear you didn't underestimate us. So, who are they? What kind of newbies are you forcing on us? I should hope you recognize them. Though Cuthbert seems to have slipped away. Please bring Levin and Vitale to us. Excuse the intrusion. Master Kristoff, you wanted to see me? You're that guy from yesterday. Hey, aren't you that candy-ass guard from before? <laughs> I suppose to you, everyone must be a candy-ass. But he's done pretty well for us so far. Got that right. Who can compare to my totally indestructible ass? But fine, we'll take these little children to school. Go ahead, soulmate. Dominate them. Uh, Master Kristoff? Having complete faith in your full potential, I send you on this mission. I ask that you go along with them. Let me. I know how much you love being a city guard. Well, that's... Well, it's just because of the commute. And if my sis... Uh, my family needs me. If they're sick or something. Yes, Levin. I understand quite well why you might not want to leave here. But this is only temporary. And it's for your own good. You can't be a guard your whole life, you know. Oh, you insist, Master Kristoff. Was that it? Indeed. That went faster than I imagined. Very well. I shall anticipate the good news of your triumph. They're fine for now, but I see no limit to their power. Wouldn't you agree that someone should keep an eye on them? If they were ever to turn on us. I understand. I can't trust anyone but you. Do you understand? I will do as you say. And another thing. If you find out anything about those others, please inform me right away. Of course.
you guys are gonna play with me, right? Yo, who's the brat? Oh, um, I found him a ways back. It seemed dangerous, so I figured I'd bring him along. Danger? What's wrong with you? It's even more dangerous here. Did you forget that we're about to go to war? War? Don't waste your breath, pal. Nothing between her ears but the wind. Well, how the heck was I supposed to know? Nobody told me about any war. So then, who are we supposed to be fighting? What? The Nerids? Really? Yep, we're supposed to clear the Nerids out of here. We don't have a lot of people, so I think we're gonna try some trash attack. Ooh. Hey, hey, you got some time, right? Why not play with me a while? I'm gonna run away, and you guys try and catch me. Hey, don't go that way. Didn't you hear the part about us and war? <laughs> catch me if you can! Oh, somebody save me! Oh no, I'm gonna get tagged! <laughs> hey, hold on! Just let him go. He'll leave us alone if we ignore him. Gah.
Might I be of use?
Are you the ones trying to steal our treasure? Have you no shame? Chasing after a defenseless child like that. You... You're the Nariots! We're not in the business of kidnapping brats, lady. In fact, you can think of us as Nariot exterminators. Exterminators? And you were hired by those royal monkeys, I suppose? Right. Well, who cares who sent you? It's clear you're nothing more than hired muscle. <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing. Right now, our muscle is your worst nightmare. Is that supposed to frighten me? You must have thick skulls indeed to challenge us with such a puny force. Everyone, to me!
Do not push ahead too far. Archers! Off guard. You know what I'm talking about, right? What? You think that sweet, harmless little child ratted us out? But he was a boy, and boys can't be married. Wow, I'm shocked. You actually remembered a whole fact. Quiet, you. I remember all kinds of stuff. But no, the kid isn't a Naren. But if that thick-headed jerk hadn't chased after him, we wouldn't have been caught. Hey, moron! You always like this? Or do you just wake up on the wrong side of stupid this morning? Please shut your hole! He has a point. Levin, how many times have I told you not to act before thinking? Huh? Holy crap, I didn't even see you there! Cares. Let it go. Stop living in the past. We gotta figure out what to do now. Do we go after them? Can't go into the ocean, but we can probably catch up to their reinforcements. With my speed, there's no way they'll get away from us. Oh, yeah. I was always really good at running. Oh, sure. You go on ahead. We'll be right behind you. We should return and report this development to Master Kristoff. We must return at once. Roughly half their force escaped, unharmed. Oh, that's fine. I had no intention of exterminating them all. What do you mean? Of course it was. They were a threat. Anyway, thanks for your help. We couldn't have done it without you. And now, for your reward... Oh, and I've also prepared a little parting gift. More hot pots! Come to Papa! Hey, Gramps! You're an alright guy! Don't just scarf him down! 
You have to savor them. And you, stupid cow, don't go getting any ideas. These are all mine. If you so much as touch them, you'll wake up with one less tongue. What? That's not fair! I want some, too! By the way, it seems you folks have your sights set on the World Eater. Is that correct? <laughs> you forget. I'm paid to know things. Never underestimate my reach, young one. <laughs> You're pretty slick for an old guy. Anyway, my point is, when I found out, I was deeply moved. I didn't think there was anyone in this day and age who would have the courage to attempt the impossible. It would be my honor to assist you and help in any way possible. <laughs> I can't blame you for your suspicion. You think I want you to get devoured? I'm crafty, yes, but I'm not devious. It's quite simple. My town and its business would greatly benefit from the removal of that monstrosity. Let me think. What would be a proper sign? Of ah, to prove that I'm serious, how about I let you keep the servants you took with you? Huh? Now hold on just a damn minute. You said this was temporary. Now you're telling me I gotta leave my home and go traipsing around with these guns? And you're asking me to leave my sister behind. Don't you worry about that. I'll make sure Euphoria is well looked after. Let me, wouldn't you say it's your duty to eliminate whatever dangers threaten our world? Your talents are much better spent with them than sitting around here worrying after your sister. But she means more to me than anything. To try and force me to abandon her now, that's just, just cruel. Come now, let her. calm down. Has she not grown stronger recently? You must stop using her as an excuse and venture out into the world. But, but hold on just a sec, Gramps. You didn't even said yes. Why the hell would I take this two-cent chump with me? I mean, at least if he wasn't such a yellow-bellied coward who wets himself in his own shadow, I'd think about it. <laughs> yeah, he's just some baby brother who can't even leave his sister's side. Definitely has some sort of complex. Ain't no two cent chump. I don't have a complex, and I sure as hell don't wet myself. In fact, I'm the best martial artist in all of Aztec. You can ask anyone. And just what the hell is wrong with loving my sister? Why should I feel ashamed of that? It's my job to take care of her. She needs me, but I can't just pack up and take off. Would you still feel this way even if your sister wanted you to go? What? What are you talking about? She wants you to go and see the world beyond the castle gates. Even if she can't go herself, she wants you to experience what the world has to offer. You know what I think? You're just trying to pawn off this useless sack of cow crap onto us. I mean, I don't blame you. It really reeks. I'm serious. Take a whip. It's awful. <laughs> no, that's really not good. We enjoy having him. Things are much more... Lively when he's around. Uh-huh. So you're not just trying to get rid of your bedwetting, sister-loving, retarded bag of manure? Sure. What, for real? Well, she really said that? But why? Since... Give it fine. I'll go. I'm freaking gone. You happy now? But I'm telling you right now. Gotta take care of her. Promise me. Of course, I promise. Damn. Guess I better get used to the smell. <laughs> Another earthquake. It seemed to be coming more frequently these days. Hmm. <laughs> I see. I just assumed it was the world eater tossing in its sleep. <laughs> Pardon the interruption, Master Kristoff. Hmm. This should be of great interest to you, I think. The world eater has awakened. It's gone berserk. 
Will you go to it? You fool! We can't go out like this! We have to eat more hot pods first! Ugh, is that all you think about? There, now there's no more hot pods. Now let's get out of here! You! You animal! What the hell have you done? 